Hey there, welcome back to Featherwood Farm. Today we are in the orchard and I'm going to start by planting my first round of cut flowers. Um, there should be enough, I have enough empty rows in between the trees that I'll be able to fit some of these annuals in as well as in between the actual trees themselves. I'm gonna really maximize um, all of the growing space that I can. And I'll probably be able to do this for at least a couple of years because the trees are young, they don't have their mature canopies yet. So they're not gonna cast a ton of shade onto these flowers. Um, obviously, if after this year I find that it doesn't really work, then we'll scrap that. But um, right now I think it's gonna be just fine. I don't have a ton of annuals that I'm going to be growing um, last year. I utilized maybe two thirds of this space for flowers and it was a bit more than I needed. Um, so this year I have cut back a little bit and I'm also gonna utilize you know, some landscape areas or some areas in the landscape rather to grow uh, some other annuals. But what I have today that we're going to try to get in are some snapdragons. Um, I have stock, larkspur, dara, some red beckias and some ageratums and maybe a couple of other things. And I'm going to lay down my landscape fabric that I foolishly did not label my sizes when I packed them away. Um, so I think I'll only have two sizes, nine inch spacing and 12 inch spacing, but shouldn't be too big of a deal to figure out. Uh, yesterday I came through and did a lot of the bed prep. I kind of hoed all of the beds and pulled back some of the straw and leaf mulch that I had on them. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go through and kind of rake a lot of that up and clean up anything else that needs to be cleaned up, lay the weed barrier and then plant in. And I'll do trellising and stuff, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It is supposed to rain today. Um, I'm not sure when. I don't trust our weather forecast, um, but I figured that was a great day. It's overcast, so these little seedlings aren't going to get scorched, and then they're going to get a nice soaking from the rain. And they've been hardening off for, I'd say, close to 10 days, between 7 and 10 days. So they're definitely good to go. And, oh, sorry, so many mosquitoes. And real quick, I'm going to show you some of the things that have overwintered from last year in the cut flower area. All right, so we have the fever few from last year that overwintered beautifully. A couple of the plants are smaller than the rest, but for the most part, it all looks really great and lovely and green. It's honestly taller now than it reached last year. And then behind that, some yarrows and then a few larkspur plants that made it from last year. Oh, that's strange. Oh, something's been eating at that. Okay, um, anyway, I will come in with the seedlings that I have. We'll clean this up a bit, sweep this off, and then put the seedling larkspur in here, fill the gaps that I have. This would have been last year's second succession. Uh, and it actually looks like a larkspur growing right there. <laughs> um, one thing with the fever few is that it reseeded everywhere. This whole bed next to it is filled with tiny seedlings. So uh, I will come through and hoe this all up. This is one of the beds that I did not get to yesterday. and. I have a couple of Buplurums that seeded from last year. And then in this bed, I have some calendulas that reseeded from last year. And so I'm thinking I will try to dig these up and keep them still in the cut garden, but just transplant them because as they are right now, they're not really gonna line up with the, um, uh, with the weed barrier and you know, they're really sporadic. So that doesn't make much sense. 
So I will have this full row and this full row in between here. Um, almost a full row right there, partially right there, and back here. This is the area that gets a little bit of shade cast on it um, from the sycamore branch above. I'm hoping I might be able to get that removed this year, but I'm not sure um, if I can't, or I, actually even if I, I can, I'm going to try to plant annuals in that corner that can tolerate a little bit less sun. I don't know what I have that might be able to, I'll have to go through. Um, and then another full row. Uh, let's see, full row, full row, almost a full row. And I'm gonna pull this black tarp up, get some soil in here. And that should be like two more rows right there. And I have, uh, my fruit shrubs planted in between. So these are pink lemonade blueberries. Over here I have Blu-ray blueberries and then Arapaho blackberries and um, a harvest gold raspberry. There. So, oh yeah, okay, so that won't actually be able to be a row that's utilized. Yeah, and I might take those fever few out entirely. But anyway, I think it should be a decent amount of space to accomplish what I need to accomplish. We will see.
Okay, so I have wrapped up my planting and I kind of have stuff all over the place. There is really no rhyme or reason to what I did back here. Um, right here I have Rudbeckia and I just did two varieties this year, Chim Chimney and Prairie Sun. And then over in this row where I have my Blue Ray blueberries, um, I did have some Dara and some Queen Anne's Lace from last year that held over. So I put the few seedlings that I grew this year, I did not grow that much because the plants were pretty prolific and I didn't use it that heavily last year. Um, but I kind of popped those in between a couple of the plants. And this is probably the only year that I'll be able to do that. Uh, I don't want to, you know, crowd out these blueberry bushes. I want them to really grow and develop. But then the rest of this bed is all blank and ready for planting. And then over here, this one is entirely filled. And in the front here, I have two types of ageratum. One is just a colorful mix. I believe they're all blues, shades of blues, purples. And then one is a red, which will be a first for me. Looks really pretty. And then I have two varieties of carnations. Uh, one is Chabot, I believe. And the other is an orange. I'll post the names of those on the screen. And then in the back, I have two types of Sweet Williams. I have Sweet Pink and Sweet White. And both the Carnations and the Sweet Williams are a first for me, so we'll see how they do. And then across the way, there's nothing planted in here. I just have it set up. Um, but I was able to kind of make it work with a couple of the calendula plants. They are popping through the holes, so we'll see how they do. And then over are my Potomac mix snapdragons with a little bit of space left here for the second succession that I am hardening off right now. Right here is all a bed of stock. This is, I believe, an iron mix. And I opted to not use the weed cloth. I just used the hoe, made a few rows, popped them all in. Stock is not a cut and come again. So once these bloom and I harvest them, the whole plant is coming out and I will put something else in here. A lot of people don't bother growing stock for that reason. You know, it takes up a lot of space and it's not giving you multiple harvests, but I, I love it. I love the flowers. I love the scents. I think they're so romantic. So I couldn't help myself. And then over here on the other side, I popped in the Larkspur and the empty spaces around the ones that were already here. And I believe all these in the back are uh, smoky eyes. I don't know what the existing plants were, but all of the seedlings that I just put in are smoky eyes. And then in the front half here are the QIS mix. So we'll get to be surprised at what kind of lovely colors those are. And I do still have a lot of Larkspur left and I'm debating, I'm thinking I might want to put, oh, there's a swallowtail. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm thinking I might want to put some in the cottage garden. So I'm gonna hold on to this tray and decide. Larkspur are supposed to resent transplanting but I think I've mentioned before that I successfully transplanted them last year and it was no issue. Okay, and so that kind of wraps up planting for today. Um, pretty happy with what I got done. The rain is definitely on its way, so these things will get nice and soaked in. Um, and I have kind of my second round of plants hardening off. I put out yesterday so I have at least a week before I'm gonna move those into here.